Hey, Johnny, how's Sonny? Yeah, g'day, Greg, and uh, he, he's really good. He um, had only that one race in Auckland, come back, had to be freshen up, and uh, one quiet trial 10 days ago, come through that very nice, and uh, he'll still be needing the run, but he, he seems very well in himself anyway. Johnny, in the next six to eight weeks, he's got some pretty lofty targets, and considering the form he's been in from cup time even through to now... Where's he at fitness-wise, and uh, are, are you confident that he's at the right level to be able to win on Friday night? Yeah, he's back to probably, uh, he's pretty fit horse now. Um, interrupted run at Auckland, he sort of had the trip up there, was sort of a wee bit light on him, and uh, missed that race the week before. Was sort of um, He's a sort of horse, he loves the trials or races to tighten him up. So, um, like I say, we didn't go much time Last week at Rangura at the trials, but um, stepped it up at home down the beach and he's responded well and um, he's working great and his heart rate's very good. So he's had a fair bit of yakker under his belt. Johnny is drawing wide on the front row, even though it's a small field. Is that advantageous for him? Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably better for him out wider there. He's sort of, um, like I say, I never push the sort of go button. I'd never try and push him too hard that first furlong anyway. So um, but, but out wider, I think, sort of previous uh, stand starts is normally a wee bit better. He goes to war once again with what's becoming an arch rival. Bolt for Brilliance is his northern rival and Muscle Mountain is in the south. And he's had the wood on you in the, in the numerically, if you like, in, in terms of the class, clashes. Um, you're looking forward to that challenge again? Yeah, it'll be very good. Um, it's exciting uh, for, for racing those, those lovely four-year-olds. Um, from last season, and that come through, and they were really putting their hand up. So uh, it's always good to have a war, or have a good battle with it, with other horses. So yeah, it's going to be looking forward to it. It's going to be a good part of the the season anyway. Especially when we head up to Auckland after here. Also got the two races down here after this week, and then we head up to Auckland. So no, it's going to be exciting times. So he'll miss the mile next week, I would assume, and then go through the trotting championship and into the into the. Uh, uh, the Fred Shaw, if you like, the last time he was beaten in a Group 1. Yeah, yeah, sort of got to try and get that one. I think it's the only one he hasn't got. So uh, that's definitely on the on the to-do and to get list. So, uh, yeah, like you say, we'll miss next week. It's quite good, actually, having the run run tomorrow night and then uh, week, week between and then two in a row. So uh, it was quite good for us sort of going forward anyway. Johnny, your other stable star in terms of trotting is Matadiros. Came a long way in that last campaign. Went to that same trial you talked about. Um, how far away from fever pitch do you think he is? He'll probably definitely be needing to, tomorrow uh, Friday's run anyway. He sort of he's only had the one trial since the Dominion. Um, had a bit of, he had a wind off after the um, after the Dominion, and he sort of so he had to have a bit longer in the paddock than, than you'd want it, want to. Um, but no, his work at home, he's sort of, he's not a big road, but a big sort of a horse. So he, he's normally races pretty light and, um, but his work at home has been very sharp as well. He's sort of, um, he's a horse and he keeps improving like he did last time. And he, he's got one to be a wee bit worried about as well. Yeah, definitely. And the other horse who you know very well, uh, is five wise men. What have you made of his couple of runs to date and his trial? I thought was as good as any of the three in the race. To be fair, yeah, he trolled up really nice in his runs. Runs to date, I was wrapped with him first up there, two thousand meter stand. He sort of uh, wasn't ideal, but first up, but he, um, I was I was wrapped with him um, pulling up after that one. Uh, like I say, he's just going to have a funny year. It's sort of as hard coming out of all those age group races, three old last year, uh, to go against like Sunny and and. Well, the main four anyway, main four or five. Um, so I think well, I was up with Timmy and Craig, but I'd say first part of this season, I think he's going to have to just rely on a wee bit of luck and be hitting the line strong. But um, going forward, he's definitely going to be a very good horse. Yeah, of course, trained by Craig and Amy Evans, that one. What about uh, Classy Brigade going around in the free-for-all with New Zealand Bloodstock? Um, he was excellent last week. He really found the line, and, and, and you haven't had that opportunity to drive him like that very often, have you? Certainly not in the last couple of seasons. No, I haven't. Um, like I say, I was wrapped the way he hit the line, especially the sectionals, and, and sort of very hard to make ground. I was last of the half and the quarter, so uh, he's just in that tricky situation. He's either off a mark, giving them 10, 20 metres, or uh, he draws out wider than them, so... The old legs has not quite got that gate speed to cross them, unfortunately. So 
Um, he's the same. I sort of hopefully if the race pans out, I'm going to try and drive him like that from now on. One run at them. Um, the only thing is you're dictated by speed up front to put them in play. So uh, I'd say it'll be a funny race again tomorrow night. The one change drawn drawn handy with gate speed. Um, gets that cheap quarter um, sort of race over. So hopefully uh, someone puts a bit of pressure on it. It's not me. Be nice for a change, uh, Johnny. Hey, his record over the shorter course is, well, it's not great compared to his overall record. Is, is he just not... Uh, or he doesn't have the ability to to run them into the deck, if you like, over the shorter course because they can all run fast over over the nineteen eighty. Is is that a fair summation? Yeah, it would be. And like to be fair, Greg, his forte is those stand starts off the level playing field, and he he steps out quick, and and especially over two six or further, uh, he steps out quick and puts himself in a nice position from the get go. Uh, it's very hard. These especially preferential barrier draw. Um, he's drawn out wide again, so that, that's what's sort of making it tough for him. Um, so he just needs everything to fall into place to figure. So hopefully it does. One of the other diamond uh, racing runners in at Addington on Friday night. I just wanted to touch on. I uh, got you covered, flying at the moment. Yeah, and well, like I say, I've said this a few few times. There, you couldn't get a neater horse to work around or, or to have the races. Um, he just gets out. He does his work at home. Um, really nice, and uh, he gets out and tries tries hard every time. He, Goes steps on the racetrack, so he's drawn out a wee bit wider. Got Devon on, she's an form, informed driver going places. So, um, and the, the field's quite even, just an even field. So, ounce of luck, he'll definitely be there at the finish again. All right, just on the northern charges for the Diamond Racing team of your father and your wife, uh, Dance Till Dawn comes up with the perfect barrier draw in the Oaks Prelude. Uh, confidence levels there. I know there's a bit of speed outside with the likes of Mr. Kaplan, but she's racing well. She's going very well and um, took, took a good one to be last time, sort of got away and sprinted up straight, but she fought right at the line. Um, like you say, got a nice barrier draw. Um, it's only it's just a qualifying race for next week. Next week's 2-7, so you wouldn't want a real gut bust under your belt this week. Uh, and like you say, Tony's horse has got a lot of gate speed, um, especially especially last time they sort of met um, across this easy. So... Um, yeah, good, nice enough trip. She's sort of horse she goes better if she's handy on the speed. So hopefully she won't be too far away from that draw. And um, yeah, nice, nice each way chance. In the Lincoln Farms, the Founders Cup, Bob Buck drives steal the show. Uh, was in need of that last run. Would you expect improvement from him? Yeah, well, they actually got all got a wee bit of a bug um, up there, and we've had a wee bit of a bug down here. So uh, yeah, he wasn't a hundred percent last time he stepped out. He's had one trial last week, which is nice. Um, Saying that, there's a few here with race fitness and, and very good horses. So I'm sure he'll just be driven nicely and um, running on and, and looking towards next week. And a newcomer to the barn in the Woodland Stud Northern Derby prelude is Magic Four. What's your dad telling you about the type of animal that was good enough to win the uh, Harness Million only two starts back? Yeah, he went great two starts back, all right. And um, like you say, he's got the ability there. He's, he's settled in well. He's only been there, like you say, a couple of weeks, but he, he's settled in well. He seems a nice horse to deal with. So he's got a nice draw to work with. Is um, Like you say, none of these horses out wider, the good ones, they're not going to want gut busters going next week. But um, So we've got the draw to play with there. Hopefully we can get a nice run and get the last crack at them like he did two starts back. Where are your confidence levels with Sonny going into Friday night? Will he win? Yeah, I think he will, Greg. I think... Um, Muscle Mountain, he sort of just had it. He missed that race last week. He probably needed it. And, and if he had a known there, he might have gone on the trials that week. So, uh, yeah, we've we sort of got the fitness and the under our belt. He's sort of ready to rock and roll. So, and especially be great, great um, if he goes over that million dollars this week and can be a winner, that'd be very special. Yeah, Johnny joins a, a really elite bunch of horses. You know, the, the best we've seen, the Lyle Creeks, the Taker Moments, horses like Stent, uh, I Can Do's It. Gee, we're, talk, we're talking about the absolute elite in the trotting trotting ranks, uh, and and you know, to be fair, he deserves to be there, doesn't he? Yeah, he does actually. Like you say, there's some uh, great names you just just said, and uh, he deserves it all right. He's done a tremendous job his, his career, and won won most of the, well, all of the big races. So, uh, now nah, be a great effort to be a big part of a horse that can do it too. Yeah, one over Kenny and Vulcan and another couple. I'm pretty sure have got past that mark. Hey, good luck Friday night. Thanks so much for your time. Um, go well. Thanks, Greg.